Welcome back. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ. With me, Jason Ching, the CEO of Sunstock and also a subsidiary, Triple Eight. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Yep. And Destiny Ibe, uh, the attorney and co-founder of Triple Eight. Yes. Okay, yep. so explain to me what Triple Eight is. Uh, Triple Eight is actually an um, asset-backed cryptocurrency that we're backed by um, both gold, silver, and platinum. So each token is backed by one gram of um, you know, all the uh, precious metal. So basically, we try to have um, some kind of stabilized um, cryptocurrency that people could actually evaluate the actual value of the token. So that's why we, you know, I come up with this um, idea about, that, you know, um, precious metal back. That it's that it's got some like actual physical access, right? Ac you know, the, the asset behind asset. it, right? right. So. Yeah. Now, um, there's a lot of cryptocurrencies out there. So how are you trying to differentiate yourself? Um, well, so a big part of what we're doing is an asset back coin is we're allowing people to know and understand that 75% of the actual money goes into bullion, which a lot of the asset back tokens don't really differentiate or really say or talk about how much really goes into bullion and actually goes into metal. We're upfront about that. And uh, more importantly, uh, for us, our metal is not going to be just community metal. Each token will be one gram, one, one, uh, one token, one gram. Uh, so that way it's not going to be all the metal in one room and then each uh, token holder can divide up that, that metal and say, hey, I own a portion of that. They're going to know exactly where it is and, and what, you know, what's, what's happening with their actual metal. Mm -hmm. um, another feature that's t totally different from all the other asset-backed tokens is we're allowing people to... Um, through our DAO or decentralized autonomous organization, they're going to be able to essentially um, take that metal, and leverage it, and reinvest it in a different investment in a different fund that we're also setting up and, and partnering with as well. So, what kind of investor or person would be benefit from investing in or buying Triple Eight? Just so, somebody who's interested in cryptocurrencies, maybe doesn't like all the volatility involved with them that we've seen. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. What else? Oh, um, basically, right now we're just offering the um, the token to the offshore. Okay. So yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. So we're we're offering or focused on on uh, non-U.S. citizens, but the type of buyer would be someone who's uh, one concern with a potential recession. Metals tend to spike during recessions, yes. um, so that's our one of our our big focuses. Also, a lot of metal buyers out there who are big in in, in purchasing metal, um, we're targeting that market as well. Um, you know, we're we're saying to them that. In our market, this market, you know that if you buy an actual token with us, you know it's there. Whereas if you go out and buy an ETF that's in gold, let's say you go out and buy the GLD ETF or the oh, SLV no. ETF, okay. those aren't really backed by anything. We are actually backed by something, and it's actually there. You can actually verify. So I guess those gold ETFs are investing gold stocks, right? Gold companies? It's, a, it's a mix. More? Sometimes it's a mix of gold stocks. Um, they claim that it's there's some gold there, but they don't tell you how much is really backing it. Okay. So it's, it's really not... It's just really paper. Mm -hmm. um, right. It's not really it's anything. Not really a so this is much more transparent in terms of the actual physical assets. More twice, that's correct. Yeah. Owns. Um, so, uh, and did you say is this available in the U.S. right now? Or no, no, not, not available. Least, not available. Do you yes. hope to achieve that at some point? Yes, we yes. do. We'll, okay. Eventually, we hope to do a registration statement with the SEC and then be able to sell the tokens to accredited investors and unaccredited investors in the U.S. Okay. And then, um, do you, where are is it available at this point? Anywhere um, around the world, everywhere like, besides, besides the United States. Besides the U.S., yes. okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about, like, because cryptocurrencies, so much attention at the end of 2017, 2018, we saw pretty much a steady downward trend. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, what do you think about the future of cryptocurrencies? Was this just like a, a blip in the long-term growth of crypto? Or, um, I mean, how do you see the current cryptocurrency I think um, it's kind of like the same as back in the 90s when the, um, the dot-com, you know, mm -hmm. it, it actually got really hot and then until the end of um, 1999, you know, it just kind of died down. But, you know, there's some um, good company that actually make it yeah. after the, uh, the 2000s. So, you know, I think we're going to be one of those mm -hmm. kind of companies. And also in the past, you had ICOs that were more popular. Now you have the term STO, security yeah. token offerings, that are more popular. And uh, there's been an effort, a strong effort to... Uh, essentially recreate that global raise, the ability to go anywhere around the world and raise money at the same time. The ST, if the STOs can do that, there's no reason why they won't be a big deal as well. Okay, all right. So then what's the next step? 
Oh, and uh, one advantage I'd like to point out is that um, Sunstock actually just acquired a, um, a Boeing shop in Sacramento back in October of last year. So the advantage that we have is that uh, we could actually purchase those Boeing at much deeper discount. So we don't really have to go buy from other vendor or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we could buy for like, you know, at least 20% discount or something like that. So that's the um, huge advantage for the, you know, okay. purchase metal. Okay, yeah. and what's the next step then for Triple Eight? Well, right now we've hired a developer. They're developing the actual uh, system, the actual blockchain. And uh, once they develop that blockchain, then we're going to go out and, uh, well, we're going to create a video and then we're going to go out and start mm -hmm. trying to uh, see purchasers. And market it. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. And please keep us posted as you okay. progress. So thank you so much, Destiny and also Jason. Okay. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. And thank you as well. We'll be right back.